So it's nine minutes past three, loads of films to get through. What are they, just tell us about some of the films that are going to be touched on in this hour. Well, we're going to do the new Mel Gibson movie. We're going to do uh, All in Good Time. Right now, we're going to do what I did this morning, which was went to the cinema to see Piranha 3 Double D because they didn't press screen it because it's the kind of movie that doesn't really rely on critics. Not really. Here's no. the thing. I mean, Alan Jones was there in the screening, which was a, a, a little ray of sunshine. And if I tell you... It's that, always a little ray of sunshine. If I tell you that Alan Jones was the ray of sunshine, you can imagine just how dark and dismal the rest of the movie was. Oop. I mean, the only... It is utter rubbish and very boring rubbish, and it's only 84 minutes long, and, boy, you, you know, it, it feels longer than that. Here's the thing. You know, in the past when you had... You, you had Jaws, and then you had Piranha, which was, you know, the, the, the corner spin-off, and you had directors like, you know, Joe Dante, and, of course, Piranha 2 Flying Killers, which was directed by James Cameron, who was famously said that, in his opinion, Piranha 2 Flying Killers, a.k.a. Piranha 2 The Spawning, was the best flying piranha movie ever made. Oh, and okay. it, you know, now you get the sort of, you know, the relaunch version. He had the Alexander Ayer version. He made Switchblade Romance, and he's now we wrote the script for and produced, I think, this forthcoming remake of Maniac. I mean, why, why would you want to remake Maniac? I mean, Joe Spinell, how are you going to top that? But now you get Piranha 3 Double D, which is, and excuse the pun, the point at which it jumps the shark. The thing about any of these movies is the minute that you actually fess up to exactly what they are, you say, oh, it's basically, it's, it's gaggy and rude it ceases to be fun. Now, I've come straight from the cinema to here. Um, no time to listen to the clip in advance, but I can tell you that the movie features David Hasselhoff, and here's a clip featuring the Hoff. Mm -hmm. I'm the love hunter. Hear what I say. Get on your knees. Learn how to pray. Because a love hunter's coming. To take you away, the love hunter's coming today. Oh, that is so sad. Come to bed, Hoffy. It's nappy time. I am the love hunter. Hear what I say. Looks like Don is ready to play. I'm Rochelle. I'm Don. Right. And believe me. That's the funniest sequence in the film. You know, Linda Blair... I mean, Thibaut Burnett didn't produce that no, particular didn't. piece of singing. Linda Blair made a film with David Hasselhoff. And Linda Blair, later on, I interviewed her. I love Linda Blair. I think she's fantastic. She, she referred to David Hasselhoff as a bit sexist. Now, believe me, if Linda Blair, who was the star of Red Heat, Chained Heat, Savage Heat, whatever, thinks there's some... That's, you know, as far... Because she doesn't say bad things about anyone at all. To say that Piranha 3 Double D is incredibly boring, dull, bad, cheap... I mean, cheaper, I think, even than the, than the, the previous Piranha movie and not entertaining or funny in a sleazy job, bad gore, bad gags. To say that is, you know, it, it's kind of, you, you take it as red. If you've seen the trailer, the funny thing is that the gags are actually better in the trailer because some of the gags, the central gag in which somebody rushes up to David Hasselhoff and said, help, there's piranhas in the water, you have to help. And he says, firstly, I'm, a li I'm not a real lifeguard. Secondly, it's all natural selection. It's from a different take than the one that's in the film, and it's funnier in the trailer than it is in the movie, which is... So if you've seen the trailer, you've seen all the gags, you've seen all the best bits of it, and you genuinely don't need to see the movie. So I'm sitting there watching the movie going, simply just putting, you know, tying the things together, going, OK, well, most successful 3D movie of all time was Stewardesses, these leggy lovelies leap off the screen and into your lap. And so there we go. That's the whole, you know, stereophonic, um, you know, Hooters stuff. That Fine, that was all done years and years ago. The Hooters? Yeah, that is was all... Is there a soundtrack from the Hooters? No, that was all done, you know, 40, whatever it is, years ago. The, they, they do, at one point, the, the dolly-in, zoom-out shot from Jaws, but what they don't confess is actually the whole thing is ripped off Jaws 3D, in which the whole thing is set in sea life. This is set in a, in a water park. And, in fact, if you know your movie history, Jaws 3D began, a life, began life as a comedy called Jaws 3 People Nil. And Believe me, that comedy setup for that film, which was never made, was funnier than anything that's in Piranha 3 Double D. There's the, the bath scene from Shivers, which you don't go quoting Shivers casually, it just makes you look foolish. There's a Mr Happy Dismemberment scene, which is clearly ripped off a film called Teeth, which was made a few years ago, which was actually a, quite an interesting low-budget horror movie that did, that, that did that gag, but in a way that actually made some kind of is sense. It, and is it a piranha that... Yeah, uh, yeah, 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 exactly. ...is the agent? Yeah, 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 yeah. So it's, you know, it, 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 it's yucky... Gore done with a sort of, you know, narf, 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 teenage, you know, nudge, nudge, wink, wink. I mean, when I was working at Sight and Sound doing the straight to DVD column, 
there'd be, you know, these kind of movies would come out all the time, but they didn't cost $20 million and make it into the cinema. Because the great irony of Piranha 3 Double D is that it's going to end up on DVD pretty soon, where no one's going to watch it in 3D anyway, so the gag isn't going to work. So every single thing about the film, rubbish production values, Alan Jones tweeted when he came out, said he had his production values of holiday on the buses, and I think that's being unkind to Reg Varninger. Rubbish gore, rubbish jokes that are done better in the trailer, derivative, I mean, obviously derivative of a whole lot of other movies, but, but derivative of a whole lot of other movies that made all those gags much better, much earlier. In the past, at least when you had trashy exploitation, it was giving a leg up to people who I genuinely thought at some point in the future might do great things. The only thing about it that's interesting is the sense of cosmic justice, which is Cameron being responsible for Piranha 2 flying killers. Cameron is the person who gave us the 3D revolution that we're now all living in. And you know what? This is what happens with 3D revolutions. You end up with Piranha 3 double D. And also, it's the end point. So, OK, we've now I made that gag. The film has nothing of interest, nothing to watch. 3D, incidentally, is rubbish. So, film rubbish, gags rubbish, gore rubbish, 3D rubbish, derivativeness rubbish, not going to lead anyone onto greater things, putting Hasselhoff back in the screen. You know what? The idea of David Hasselhoff may be funny, not actually funny in real life. The well, well, what people... was funnier was the scene of David Hasselhoff in real life singing freedom songs on the Berlin Wall. Have you ever seen that bit of news footage? But one people only want... If you're going to go and see mm. this in the 3 double it'll be for the Hooters soundtrack, won't it? I mean, that's presumably what they go for. So, so none of that matters. It was... Honestly, it... it... It, well, what do you think? I, what I think is, it's like, you know, uh, Piranha in the Avocado Jungle of Death, great movie, great title. Teenage Nymphoid Barbarian in Dinosaur Hell, great title, rubbish movie. Piranha 3 Double D, <laughs> snur title, absolute snorful movie. Snorful. It's snorful. <laughs> That's very good. And you also, you, you imply a belief in cosmic justice. In your review, there. That's, well, that's, that's some, somehow Piranha Three W is is is, is, is that your version of Karma? By James Cameron on the butt, and there's lots of that kind of gag. Yes, I would imagine that. It's true. rubbish. Leave it alone. It'll probably be film of the week by the time we get to four o'clock. I don't think so. Okay.